you your mission briefings before disembarking. On behalf of the Earth Defense Force, I wish you a pleasant stay in Rome. So, we're gonna rendezvous with a priest. Yep. Because he knows where to find the Ark of the Covenant. Yep. Which contains the Holy Grail. Yep. Which is an alien artifact. Yep. So, we have to go to the Vatican. Yep. Uh... That's AAA, rookie. Get used to it. I don't know. This is some Da Vinci Code shit, man. Huh. You don't like the Da Vinci Code, Sam? Nah. Why not? Some good theories in there. No literary merit. So, um, uh, who's your favorite writer? Uh, Philip K. Dick, I guess. Philip K. Dick? Wait, Sam reads books? Shit. Guys, guys, you got incoming! Sam? Anyone? I'm here. What's happening? We got hit hard. Convoy's foobar. Gotta regroup and get out of here, or get out of here and regroup, whatever. Casualties? Driver's dead. Rookies. I'm alive, I think. So, Rookie, what's your name? Kenneth, sir. All right, Kenny, relax. We're gonna kill us some aliens. Hey guys, welcome back. So Serious Sam 4 is out, and without a Linux port, but I still bought the game, uh, assuming it would be pretty easy to run in Linux. Well, I did have to do a bit of work to get it to run, however, I'm sure it won't be long before someone creates an installer script for it on Lutris, or Steam releases a Proton build that will let it run. And let me just start by saying that I'm no expert in this. I don't know, you know, the specifics of Wine and Proton and, and everything that it takes to make a game run. I just think around with it and see what happens. With that being said, I have the GOG version, so I'm just focused on getting it to run with Wine and Lutris. And as you can see here, it does run and it runs quite well. But it did take a bit of fiddling around to get it to work. When I first installed it, it kept crashing out and looking at the logs, it was due to a, I don't want to say an incompatible driver, but an outdated driver is what it said. And digging into the install directory, I came across this file in the install folder under Content, Series Sam 4, Config. The file is called checkdriver.lua, and when I open it up, there's a list of drivers in this general area here. Uh, I'm not sure if it was a driver whitelist or what it was, so I deleted that portion, saved the file, and voila, the game loaded. Then trying to get it to run using various runners, I found that it wouldn't start under any newer custom wine versions, but it would run under the vanilla 5.16, although with really bad graphics issues. Um, using Lutris 416, 415, Proton 415 GE, or even Proton 411 uh, fix the graphics issues for the most part. Initially, I was trying to run it under Vulkan, since setting the game to DX11 and using DXVK, uh, the game would just crash often. Unfortunately, uh, Vulkan still caused some graphical glitches, especially in the vegetation. And then I saw a new hotfix was released, 1.02 I believe, and all of a sudden the game it's didn't crash in DX11. The graphical glitches the were still there under Vulcan, but the game ran just fine using DXBK, so that's what I ended up using, and I was able to play it just fine. There may be an easier way to apply this hotfix, and I don't know what it is, so I ended up installing GOG Galaxy, and it updated the game right away for me. So it was nice to see a new game work on Linux. Granted, it took a bit of dicking around, but, as I said before, I'm pretty sure it won't take long for an installer script to show up on Lutris, or for Steam to add it to the next Proton build, or even a custom Proton build to be made. I don't know. Like I said, I'm no expert in this. I'm just a guy on Linux that really wanted to play Series Sam 4. And now, if I could get Crisis Remastered to work, I think I'd be all set. So anyways, I know, uh, you know, I, I'm not a whole lot of help to you guys. I'm not an expert in this. Like I said, I'm just showing you guys what I did. But maybe, you know, this this will help somebody that's got Serious Sam 4 and they want to run on their Linux. Uh, maybe some of the steps that I took will help you out. Um, so anyways, I'm going to finish up this video with just some gameplay footage that I captured here. And uh, you guys take care, and I will see you on the next one.
Now, you can also take out the Kanar with your bare hands, but for larger groups, go for a shotgun or assault rifle. If I had a gun, any gun. <laughs> And remember, kid, Belchers explode, so stay clear of their barf radius. Barf radius? Look, it's not a scientific term, but it works for me. Sir, if I remember correctly, the map in the mission briefing showed an EDF storage facility just over this wall. Huh. Maybe I should start reading that stuff. Sir, um, I still don't have a gun, so... Please hurry up. Thank God you're back. Nice! Um, could I have a gun now? You know, it's funny, but usually when I pick up one of these things... He just gets bored.
Looks like that was the last of them. The gate's open now. Oh, a harvester drone. I is, is that how they turn us into the processed? Yep. Mothership sucks you up, spits out a tentacle brain killing machine. I guess Mental's really into recycling. All right. One ecclesiastical extraction coming right up. Ecclesiastical extraction? Good one. that thing it's a scrapjack let me take it apart so you can have a closer look I think that's it for now. I thought there was supposed to be convoy. I am the convoy. Hi, I'm Kenny. Hellfire, we're ready for extraction. I'm picking up Rodriguez and Jones at the Piazza della Repubblica. Meet me there? It's a date. Father, grab your stuff. Let's not keep the lady waiting. I have my shotgun and my faith, son. I am already packed. <laughs> 